Hello friends, welcome to Smooth Engineering. Do you really hate it when your room light is always in full brightness? Do you sometimes wish that you could reduce the brightness of your lights but do not know how to do it? In this video, you are going to learn how you can reduce the brightness of your light bulbs. This is done by reducing the amount of voltage that is applied to the light bulb. What is responsible for reducing the brightness of the light bulb or controlling the voltage that is applied to the light bulb is called a triac. Let's get started. So what is a triac? A triac is a semiconductor or electronic component that is widely used in AC power control. Triacs are able to switch high voltages and high levels of current over both parts of an AC waveform. This is AC sine waveform. There is both the positive and the negative part of the waveform. For this project, we are going to use BTA16 triac, which is here. For this to work properly, we need a triggering pulse at the gate of the triac. To achieve this, we are going to use another semiconductor device that's called a diac. A diac is a full wave or bidirectional diode AC switch that can be turned on in both forward and reverse polarities. This is widely used in triggering of a triac gate used in AC switches and as a result they are often found in light dimmers just like what we are trying to build in this project. We also need another component that will be used to detect the AC zero cross position of the AC mains voltage. This is an optocoupler. This type is 4N25 semiconductor device which is used to detect the zero cross of the AC mains voltage. As I said earlier, this is an AC waveform. We have the positive and the negative part of the wave. What we are to detect is the zero cross of the AC waveform. The zero cross points are here. This point, this point, these points and the rest. These are called zero cross points. A point on the AC waveform whereby the wave passes from the positive to the negative from this middle part here. It's very important to know this particular position because that is where we are going to do the triggering from. For the full bridge rectifier, we need some rectifying diodes and here they are. This is used to rectify the AC mains voltage into a pulsating DC and this is used as an input to the optocoupler. This project is very dangerous because I am using 230 AC mains voltage but for safety purposes I am going to use an isolating transformer to step down the voltage to about 18 volts AC. If you are not sure about what you are doing do not try this project because it can lead to injuries or even death. You have to be very careful. The output from the optocoupler is fed into the microcontroller interrupt pin. We are going to use an Arduino board. An external interrupt is triggered whenever a zero cross is detected. We also need a potentiometer. This is a potentiometer. It's going to help in setting or adjusting the firing angle. This kind of control is also called a phase angle control. We also need other components for this project, which are some resistors of different values. We also need some light bulbs. I am going to use these small light bulbs to demonstrate 
on how we can reduce the voltage that is applied to the light bulbs. This in turn reduces the brightness of the bulbs. We also need some connection cables or jumper cables to make the necessary connections that we need. With all this said, let's set up everything together. This is the output from the full bridge rectifier. Here we have a rectified AC mains voltage or we can also call it a pulsating DC because the negative part of the wave has been cut off and taken up to the positive part. It's no more a perfect AC waveform but you can call it a pulsating DC. We have 29.9 or almost approximately 30 volts peak to peak and the frequency is still the same which is a frequency of 50 hertz with a period of 20 milliseconds so we can see the characteristics are still the same as of an ac sine wave the only difference is that the negative part has been taken up to the positive side Each of these shows a point whereby a zero cross is detected on the AC mains voltage. This signal will be fed into the microcontroller as interrupt. This interrupt is going to be used to trigger the gate of the triac, each point of the zero cross. And that is where we are going to control the power that is going to be applied to the light bulb. As you can see, adjusting the potentiometer easily controls the amount of voltage that is applied to the light bulbs. In a future video, I am going to show you how to make a printed circuit board for this project so that every component can be soldered on the PCB board. This is very safe. If you enjoyed watching this video, click on the subscription button, hit the bell icon and like.